Ever heard of a warplane that was never officially at war? Meet the Avro Vulcan, a masterpiece of aviation engineering. This iconic marvel with its distinctive delta wing design is a testament to the ingenuity and foresight of its creators. It's a captivating paradox, an aircraft born for battle, yet never truly witnessing the heat of combat. Born in the crucible of the Cold War, it was an embodiment of power and deterrence, designed to keep the peace rather than wage war. The Avro Vulcan, a symbol of technological prowess and a beacon of an era defined by the silent standoff of superpowers. Its unique design, a sight to behold, became a symbol of British aviation, an image etched in the minds of aviation enthusiasts across the globe. Now you might be thinking, why was such a remarkable aircraft made in the first place? To understand why the Avro Vulcan was made, we need to take a trip back to the tense atmosphere of the late 1940s. The world was still reeling from the effects of the Second World War, and a new conflict was brewing on the horizon. This was the era of the Cold War, a time of suspicion and fear, where the balance of power teetered precariously between East and West. The United Kingdom, like many other nations, was caught in the middle of this geopolitical chess match. Faced with the growing might of the Soviet Union and the looming threat of nuclear warfare, the UK was compelled to reassess its strategic needs. And this led to a realization. The country needed a powerful deterrent, a weapon that could strike fear into the heart of any potential aggressor, a high-altitude, long-range bomber that could deliver a nuclear payload if necessary. Enter the Avro Vulcan. Conceived in the drawing rooms of the Avro Company, the Vulcan was designed to be more than just an aircraft. It was to be a symbol of British resilience and power, a message to the world that the UK would not be easily intimidated. The Vulcan was a response to the unique challenges of the Cold War, a masterpiece of engineering that combined speed, range, and firepower in a way that had never been seen before. The Vulcan was a high-altitude bomber, capable of flying at heights that made it virtually untouchable by enemy defenses. It had a range of thousands of miles, allowing it to reach targets deep within enemy territory. And with its capacity to carry a nuclear payload, it was a formidable deterrent to any potential aggressor. But the Vulcan was more than just a weapon. It was a symbol of the UK's determination to protect its interests and its allies. It was a testament to the ingenuity and skill of British engineers. And it was a beacon of hope in a world fraught with tension and uncertainty. The Avro Vulcan was a response to the needs of its time, a symbol of power and resilience. From its iconic Delta Wing design to its advanced avionics, the Avro Vulcan was a marvel of technology. Let's dive into the nitty-gritty of the tech that made this aircraft a legend in the sky. The Vulcan's most recognizable feature is its Delta Wing design, a triangular shape that was a departure from the traditional swept wing design of its era. The Delta Wing wasn't just for show, though. It allowed the Vulcan to carry heavy payloads while maintaining high speeds and altitudes. This design also provided the aircraft with superior maneuverability, a vital trait during the Cold War when evading enemy radar was crucial. But the Vulcan's impressive wings were just part of the story. The real powerhouse of the Vulcan was its Olympus engines. These engines, developed by Bristol Siddeley and later Rolls-Royce, were the heart of the aircraft providing it with the thrust necessary to reach speeds of over 600 miles per hour. The Vulcans were initially equipped with the Olympus 100 series engines, but these were later upgraded to the much more powerful Olympus 200 series, which propelled the Vulcan to even greater heights. Now, let's talk about the Vulcan's advanced navigation system. The Avro Vulcan was the first bomber to be equipped with a fully automatic three-dimensional navigation system. This system, developed by Ferranti, allowed the Vulcan to fly accurate courses without the need for constant human intervention. It was a revolutionary development at the time, and it set the standard for the navigation systems used in today's aircraft. The Vulcan was also equipped with a state-of-the-art bombing system. The bomb bay was designed to carry up to 21,000 pounds of conventional or nuclear weapons. The Vulcan's bombing system was so advanced, it could calculate the aircraft's position relative to the target and release the bombs at precisely the right moment to hit the target accurately. This level of precision was unheard of at the time and was a testament to the Vulcan's technological prowess. The Avro Vulcan was also one of the first aircraft to be equipped with an electronic countermeasures suite. 
This suite, known as the Blue Steel Standoff Missile, was designed to jam enemy radar and protect the Vulcan from incoming missiles. It was a critical piece of equipment during the Cold War, helping to keep the Vulcan safe from enemy attacks. Every piece of technology on the Avro Vulcan was designed with a single purpose in mind, to make the aircraft as effective and efficient as possible. From the Delta Wing design to the Olympus engines, from the advanced navigation system to the state-of-the-art bombing system, every aspect of the Vulcan was a testament to the ingenuity and innovation of its creators. The Avro Vulcan was not just an aircraft, it was a technological marvel that pushed the boundaries of what was possible in aviation. Before we continue with this fascinating journey, a reminder to hit the like button if you're enjoying our content and subscribe for more intriguing stories. Let's keep this aviation adventure soaring high. Your likes fuel our quest to bring you the most captivating tales from the sky. And hey, subscribing is like getting a first-class ticket to the most thrilling stories in aviation history. Now, fasten your seatbelts and prepare for takeoff. Now, let's dive back into the thrilling story of the Avro Vulcan. Though it never officially saw combat, the Avro Vulcan left a lasting legacy in the world of aviation. This remarkable aircraft, a symbol of Britain's aviation prowess, carved its place in history not through the fires of war, but through its unique design, advanced technologies, and the pivotal role it played during a time of global tension. Now, let's dive into the legacy of the Avro Vulcan. Despite never seeing combat, the Vulcan played a crucial role during the Falklands War in 1982. It was during Operation Black Buck that the Vulcan demonstrated its strategic importance. These missions, some of the longest-ranged bombing missions in history, involved the Vulcan flying over 8,000 miles from Ascension Island to the Falklands. These flights showcased the Vulcan's impressive range and adaptability, cementing its place as a key player in military aviation. The Vulcan's influence goes beyond its military role. It played a significant part in the development of other aircraft. Its Delta Wing design was groundbreaking at the time, and its influence can be seen in numerous aircraft that followed, such as the Concorde. The Vulcan's design and technology pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible in aviation, inspiring future generations of aircraft designers. Lastly, the Avro Vulcan has become an iconic symbol of British aviation. With its distinctive shape and thunderous roar, it's an aircraft that captures the imagination. It's a testament to Britain's engineering prowess during the Cold War era, a symbol of a time when the country was at the forefront of aviation technology. Even today, the sight of a Vulcan in flight during air shows is a sight to behold, a reminder of a bygone era. It's also worth noting that the Vulcan's legacy lives on through the tireless efforts of preservation societies. These organizations work to keep the memory of the Vulcan alive, maintaining and restoring these magnificent machines so future generations can appreciate their beauty and significance. In conclusion, the Avro Vulcan may not have seen combat, but it was far from a silent player on the world stage. Its role in the Falklands War, the influence it had on the development of other aircraft, and its status as an icon of British aviation all contribute to the enduring legacy of this remarkable aircraft. The Avro Vulcan, a warbird that never went to war, but left an indelible mark on the history of aviation. We've taken a fascinating journey through the life of the Avro Vulcan, from its Cold War birth to its technological marvels and enduring legacy. We've explored how this iconic bomber, born from the necessity of a changing world, came to be a symbol of British innovation and determination. We delved into the cutting-edge technology that powered the Vulcan, from its unique Delta Wing design to its advanced avionics system. We also touched on the lasting impact of this aircraft, its influence on future designs, and its continued presence in the hearts of aviation enthusiasts. We've seen how the Avro Vulcan, a product of its time, transcended its original purpose to become a symbol of human ingenuity and the limitless possibilities of flight. It's been a pleasure sharing this journey with you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing tales from the world of aviation. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.